Old Breach is absolutely fuming because a video was uploaded last night by Penguin Zero, also known on YouTube as Critical, who critiqued Paul Breach and went through some of his weird TikToks that he's done and has basically just kind of put a massive magnifying glass on Paul Breach's behaviour, more than I guess there already was. I popped over to Paul Breach's life just after the video was uploaded and um, I got to see his reaction to everything. He's not happy. Let me get, let me, I've, I've taken those off for a minute. Right, guys, guys, teenage boys, teenage boys, it's okay that another teenager's made a video on me. I'll, I'll get over it, all right? Who's Charlie? I ain't got a fucking clue. Oh. <laughs> um, Number one, I don't know if he took a proper look at Critical, but if this is what he thinks a teenage boy looks like, then he clearly spends most of his time looking at teenage girls. I reckon he could spot one of those from a mile away. But a teenage boy, he doesn't know, he's never seen one. Uh, apparently they all have beards and long hair and own their own house and I know, been on the internet for 24 years. I, uh, what does he think Charlie is? He thinks he's a teenage boy? Is that what he thinks? God knows what he thinks of me. He must have thought I was like an embryo making videos on him. That face he does, by the way, that is the face of a man who is just purely feeling rage. You can see how pissed off he is by doing that weird face he did. Like, okay, mate, you're not hiding the fact that this is not bothering you very well. You're making it quite clear this is getting to you. All right, mate. But then he goes on to say something even funnier, especially with the context of the 135 people watching the live stream. Keep that in mind. This means my face will be out there all the time. Boom. Yeah, Ricky, I can't answer Toy's age. Sorry, because I don't actually know where. I just fucking... I just... I just answered it, right? Yeah, but she's just irrelevant to me, so I, I can't answer. Thank you for the beauty. But yeah, don't overthink it, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, you've caught me the wrong time and I'm in such a whining mood. That just means my face will be out there and then he goes boom like he's made some kind of like crazy shockwaves across the internet. Charlie has made a video on you pointing out that you are creepy. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be out there on the internet because people think that I'm creepy. I think that would be the worst thing that people could associate with me when I walk around. I don't think being known for being creepy is making these shockwaves across the internet that maybe you want Mr. Breach. And also, hardly a boom shockwave, is it, when you've got 130 people watching your life? But after seeing this, I thought, do you know what would be quite funny? We haven't looked at what Paul Breach has been doing in a while. We haven't really kept up to date with him, mainly because he got really weird and fell off. So I was like, what's the point? Um, Nobody's watching him. He's probably not really a problem anymore, is he? The last thing I saw of Paul Breach was this video right here. That's Paul Breach being cream pied by the man who was just in like the Netflix Squid Game who's really popular. Talk about a crossover. One of these guys has gone on to be in a Netflix show. Paul Breach is sat on live with 130 people watching. That's a great career for him. You gotta remember that Paul Breach quit his job at the care home to go and do TikToking full time. He has a kid. He's not getting any Christmas presents this year. Paul's buying them for his girlfriend, probably. Here's a video that was screen recorded a couple days ago that I've pulled up, and um, it might be one of the most depressing things ever. And to be honest, it couldn't happen to a worse person. At what point do these people stop going live on TikTok? If it's not for all the abuse, being accused of heinous crimes by 19 year olds you've met, accusing you of being inappropriate with them, people digging up your past and your family, finding out that you got your ex-wife pregnant when she was 17 and you were considerably older than her. You know, you were a 28 year old man. After all of that, after people dig through all of your personal life, I mean, you go on the internet and you confirm that these things happen, right? You say, yeah, you know, I was 28 but it's legal in the UK, she's above the age of 16. And you know that people are gonna think that you're creepy. And your defense is just that we have different morals, even though you know that most people in the UK would find that incredibly disgusting behavior. You still come on live, even when there's only 70 people watching? Why? Like, generally my question is why? You know, I've had some weird run-ins with this man. The last thing that happened was, is he was like commenting on my girlfriend's Instagram threads, because he's a freak with nothing else to do in his spare time. What a fascinating guy, by the way. I just look at it and I go, wow, he's pathetic. The end. I'll be honest with you guys, 
If, if I ever fell off this horrifically, I would take my money and I would go retire and have a long holiday in the Bahamas. Paul Breach is going to sit here and talk to teenagers for as long as he possibly can because that's the whole reason he did it in the first place. And it's quite clear when you look at clips like this. God, yeah, we're, we're married, we've moved in together, you're flying over to Egypt tomorrow. But get, get to the point, you like my voice. Thank you, guys. It's an incredible voice. To be honest, oh. I'd fall in love with my voice. To be honest, guys, I would fall in madly in love with this very well-spoken Englishman. To be honest, it is an incredible voice. So, hey, take the positives. Look at your face. Yeah, but in this case, it's the negative because they're telling me that I'm dating you. No, oh, I don't look so fucking disappointed. Um, yes, but we're not, because we've just spoken about your boyfriend. What is that common? Why would you even joke about that with somebody who is allegedly a teenager? Or at least 30 years too young for you, mate. Why do you look so disappointed? What, you, what do you want? Do you want her to be like, oh, you know, I wish I was. Well, is that what you're looking for? Is that what you do these for? For gratification from young people? Because if so, that's so fucking creepy. That's such odd behaviour. And I can't believe he's still doing this. You and only 190 people are watching. At what point, right, do you sit on the internet and have all of these videos clipped up of you, all of your behavior posted on the internet over and over again, get harassed when you go out in public, when you, when you simply go to the shops, right? When does it become enough to sack it off? You can't be making any money off it. There is absolutely no way where you can be making enough money anyway for this to be viable. So what is the plan? Is it literally just to talk to women? Are you using it as a dating app? But you could do that more privately, not that I think that would be a good thing. At least here people could keep an eye on you, even if it's only, what, 194 people. Could you imagine this man's Tinder? Could you imagine looking at his hinge? Could you imagine the type of stuff he says to people on there when this is what he does publicly on TikTok Live? We're not dating. <laughs> we are. We're looking at people who talk on TikTok on the live stream for shits and giggles. Your language today. Does it not make you irritated that people are saying that you're dating me? Well, no, because I know I'm not dating you. I was, or like, even though I'm not, and even if I was, I would not be dating this man. But he has got a really nice voice. That's not the point. <laughs> that's even a yes. That's a yes. But that's not the point. I don't know about you, but I know when somebody's flirting, I can see it, okay? And that is what this man is trying to do. And why? And it's weird. Look, man, you already got one person who was 10 years younger than you pregnant. You had a kid with them. Right, is that not enough? Or is your lust just insatiable? You just need to find as many people as possible. Because this is just like one of many clips of Paul on live with teenagers just being overly, like, flirty with them. And it's very strange behavior. I hate America with this voice, to be honest. If I was... Did you post me on your story? Who? Me. Did you, Did you post see? me on your You follow story? me. Are you on my story? You you follow me. Has it appeared? How amazing is my voice? Um, you get to hear this voice and I will talk to you nicely and politely in a beautiful English accent. How do you, how do you personally feel about these comments saying that I'm dating you? How do I personally feel about these comments? I find them laughable. I have asked you in front of everybody, politely, how your boyfriend is. No more. If I was a boyfriend, uh, this would not roll with me. Uh, I would not be happy to see my girlfriend live streaming with the UK's creepiest man. But also, could you imagine being her dad, seeing this man talk to your daughter in this way? Right? Could, imagine if this was like in person and you were over viewing this conversation. There's just no way it would go down well. And I think that's what Paul does is he loves getting people on live like this so he can live out this weird fantasy where he can get away with just flirting with people who are considerably too young for him. And then he just does this and gets away with it. And then he goes, oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, they, they're potentially of legal age, um, so it's okay. You know, my behavior, oh, it might be morally unjustifiable, but, you know, who cares about morals, as he always says. Well, he actually goes to morals. He calls them moles. We might, we don't, we might not light up your moles. And no, I don't think he does, or 95% of the country. Or the world, maybe. To describe him to me of how you asked each other out. 
Yeah, but I know my voice is attractive, to be honest. I know I've got a nice voice. Hey, there you go. Is my voice nice? Just listen to my voice. But have you guys ever seen The Lovely Bones? I'm not going to finish that, but if you have, you know where I was going with it. It's crazy to me that he's still doing this. Like, so publicly, like this behaviour. I've seen videos recently of him going out of public and it's not been going well for him. Do you want to see? I'm sure you do. Guess who I've just fucking seen in Radcliffe Asda of all places? Fucking Paul Nance Breath Breach. If you think I'm joking, watch this. Yes, Paul, who are you noncing in our town? What are you saying? We'll get him, guys, we'll get him. What are you saying? Are you good, yeah? Are you good? Oh. <laughs> yeah, do you remember me? Do you remember me? Try cussing because I was doing all fans. Even though everyone knows you're a he doesn't quite have the same confidence and energy in person when he's uh, greeted by a grown woman, does he? No, he just pretends to be on his mobile phone and hopes that people will go away. There was also a video of Paul Breach recently where he was at a Costa Coffee and he rings the police and asks them to escort him out. What, like he's John F. Kennedy? Well, I, I hope the car he's in has a roof. order his Costa to go and then take his to go bag with his panini and carrot cake in and get four policemen to escort him away from three teenagers outside filming him on their mobile phones. Because if he is doing that, he's a pathetic loser. <laughs> Wait, so he was like at a museum with a girl they're calling a school girl. We have no idea if that's true or not. Um, I mean, she looks young from the 0.1 second we saw her on screen. That's crazy. If so, no wonder he called the police. But he should probably be careful because they might end up turning around and looking at him. Well, that's everything on the Paul Breach Chronicles up to this point over the last couple of weeks. It's uh, great to see that he's doing well. I can't even say it was straight face, to be honest. It looks like Paul's time on the internet is very nearly up. But um, he's still sticking to the weird behaviour that he's been well known for and for some reason seems to be proud of. What a fascinating character. Enjoy Christmas. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in a new video soon. And um, yeah, if you see this man, don't go near him. Bye.